Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm really just making this video because I just want to get my opinion out on mainly DVDs. The reason I made this channel is because after watching Cooler Dude, I saw how big his DVD collection was and I just wanted to expand mine. And the thing is, not a lot of my friends are as big of a movie buff as I am. There's like one or two of them, but I just love watching movies and I just want to make a channel dedicated to me talking about movies. I don't even care if no one watches this, but... If you do, thank you for watching this. My DVD collection is about 100 movies right now, and just I'm just gonna keep trying to get as many movies as I can. Um, some movies that I'll be reviewing or talking about, I won't be able to actually have the physical DVD, but I'll watch it online, tell you how it is, things like that. See, the thing is, there's lots of YouTubers doing exactly what I'm doing. What they do is they review movies too. You know, they go up. The reason why there's so many different YouTubers is because everyone has their own different opinion. They do things differently. What I want to do is just make this channel and if you like the type of movies I like, the type of genres I like, or how I do things, then stick around and maybe it'll get better from here on out. So this Friday I'm going to go see Scream 4 and so in preparation for it I'm going to watch the first three Scream movies. And I saw the first one yesterday and it was, I'm going to say, top three favorite horror movies right now. Top three. The reason why I liked it so much was because it plays on the whole cliché thing a lot. Which, lots of movies, you know, clichés, they use them so much. And Scream took those and sort of made fun of them. It wasn't really a comedy movie, but I don't know. It just seemed different. It was something unique and hasn't been done before. And I hope they do that in the second and third movie. And in the fourth movie, I'm really excited because it has some... It seems like it's going to be doing that again, but using the type of technology we have right now, like video cameras, streaming, and things like that. It's gonna be like Saw 3D when they were doing the public trap. I don't know, I can't wait to see how that turns out. So Scream 4 is coming out this Friday, and another reason why when I saw the trailer I really wanted to see it was because it had a few actors in it that I really enjoyed in other things. There's there's Alison Bry that plays Annie on Community, another one of my favorite shows at the moment. And in the trailer there was Rory Culkin, and when I first saw this, I thought it was the guy that played Wallace in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, who happened to be Kieran Culkin. And these people look identical. And when I found out that it wasn't actually him, I was kind of I was kind of disappointed. But if they both give the exact same performance and things like that, I'll be more than happy to watch it. And also, people like Courtney Cox are returning to do their role as the TV reporter, whose name's slipping my mind at the moment. And yeah, that's about it right now. I'm gonna watch Scream two and three over the next two days, and Scream four on Friday. So I'll watch two screams in the same day. I'm also going to buy Biozombie on DVD and hopefully that'll get to me soon enough and I'll give you a review of that. So, hopefully this wasn't a terrible first video. See ya.